Sussex Police Constable, or rather now ex-Sussex Police Constable, would have been dismissed had he not already resigned after a misconduct hearing held on Tuesday, July the 12th. Now ex-PC, Doug Campbell, was found to have failed to show authority, respect and courtesy after becoming involved in a series of exchanges during a community football match organised by one of his colleagues. The misconduct panel, chaired by a so-called independently qualified legal chair at Sussex Police Headquarters, found the allegations proven and Campbell would have been dismissed if he was still a serving officer. Chief Superintendent Lisa Bell, head, I mean Lisa Bell, head of the Professional Standards Department, said, We expect our officers and staff to act with the utmost integrity and in accordance with the Code of Ethics and the Standards of Professional Behaviour. The actions of this officer fell far short of those which is reflected in the findings by the panel. The unacceptable conduct that has been heard here will not be tolerated, but this poor behaviour should not overshadow the hard work by the vast majority of our officers, staff and volunteers within Sussex Police. Word salad. Now, let me be clear here, there is little information around this incident. Did he have a fight? Was it aggressive abuse? Was it a football argument such as, come on ref, it was offside your tosser? I don't know. But unless it was something other than the latter, then I might have to agree with the dismissal. But football matches generate a lot of tension at times. And competitive people get a little het up over friendly games. If it was the latter, as in, come on ref, don't be a tosser type of incident, then I've got to say, I don't think he should have been dismissed over it. I've reported on a Scots cop who was involved in a football match and who twatted a kid and his father. Now that's the kind of thing that deserves a dismissal, but we're left with not enough information to determine what actually happened from the reports I've seen. However, it's a police misconduct hearing, so I have reported it, but also wanted to be fair to the guy and make it clear that there are some instances that I don't agree with police being dismissed. Although most of them do deserve it, there are some who don't, and this could well be one of those times where they don't deserve to be dismissed just because they've called a ref a wanker, for example, if that is what happened. But we're left to speculate because the police force hasn't given any information. Again, so much for transparency.